subscribe my channel like and comment and hit the bell icon for further updates and for more informative video thanks now let's dive in so today i'll tell you how to stop a student for resubmitting work so you see what happens uh, when a student submit the work to you and you got it you received it and you get notified through email that a student has submitted the work then later on he realized that he wants to do some changes so he added the document or upload another file and then reset submit it so you have two submission from the student and he can do this procedure even more like he can submitted his work two times or three times so you will have different uh, files and it will be difficult for you to grade his work so how to stop a student from resubmitting the work and there are some more important settings which you really need to learn and uh, you cannot easily find uh, on the internet also if you write how to stop a student from resubmitting work you will not find a good solution so that's why i realized to make a solution for you so there is no problem whenever you search it uh, uh, you have in, on your fingertips that how to stop a student for resubmission so what we need to do this is our layout of a google classroom this is the main page of google classroom uh, so when you open the google classroom you can see this page now you will click on these three lines these three bar you will click here then you need to scroll down and click on setting now now you have uh, these options so i am starting with the first one receive email notification if you don't want to get any email uh, uh, for example if it's annoying for you that every time you get an, a notification a student posts something so if you don't want this thing you can turn it off uh, so you are not notified but if you want to be notified so keep it turned on now uh, for the comments uh, a student can co comment on your post they can mention you they can tag you private comments all the settings are there so you can check it one by one and uh, the, these are the settings for the students and these are the settings for the teachers so in teacher setting late submission of work of a student for example if you have given a work a deadline and uh, you want the student to submit the work uh, even after the deadline but you will deduct few marks for it so you can uh, turn on by default it's turned on so you can keep it turned on but if you don't want any late submission then then just turn it off resubmission of a student work this is very important option also for which i have made this video so if you don't want the student to resubmit work just uncheck this so in this way student will not be able to re resubmit the work once they submit their work they will not be able to resubmit it now it's up on you how you want to manage it you want your student to re resubmit the work i recommend uh, not to turn on this option because uh, it will be uh, hectic for you to check the work again and again and uh, to check multiple files so these are the very important settings which you need to uh, tweak it to do it according to your need and uh, then there are uh, one more bonus thing which i want to tell you you see uh, these are my classes and these are very unorganized 10 and 9 and then a demo class and 10 a so if you want to organize it this uh, there is an easy way like you will just hold it and drag it to the side so i can arrange all the classes one by one so actually when we when i want to post something it will be really easy for me to post it because my classes are aligned all admin students are there then i have 10a and then in the end i want to keep keep the demo class and one thing more for example if you want to check the work of any particular class like you want because these all work is saved in google folder google drive so you can click here and uh, it will open the google drive and it will show all the work which you have uh, assigned to the students or all other things or whatever you have posted so one more important option for example if you want to post something in a classroom so here is the place where you can post it for example if i write welcome to my class now if you post it it will be posted uh, in 9a only but for example if you want to post this post in entire classes in all classes so what uh, one method is to post in each class it will take a long time so i tell you one shortcut way if you click on this left side and then select all the classes and then if you po click on post it will be posted on all the classes at once so this is a very good trick to save your time if you want to uh, 
send uh, some message to all the student uh, a single message to all the students all the classes so these were all the uh, these were all the important things uh, which i have discussed i hope that will be really helpful for you see you and please subscribe my channel